Well, hello everyone. It's Anita Fairy Nails, and uh, tonight I'm going to show you. I'm just going to move this one out the way. How you do that? I call it lit glass, but it's like um, you know a colored glass window. So I'm going to show you how I do this on the nails. What I'm going to use right now is. Uh, just plain clear acrylic that I'm gonna just build the nail that you would do like normally for your customers so we're gonna start off by placing the bead at the back of the nail tilt it downwards tease it up to the cuticle and pull down preferably on the side also use your brush to clean up on the sides as you go along and then use the barrier of the uh, sorry the tip of your brush as a barrier between the cuticle and the product so i'm just going to build it down like that just a plain clear nail Hold it down so that it runs with gravity. Pull it on the side. And of course, you keep on cleaning your brush and you pat it, you look for the arch to be perfect. Once I've done with building the nail with the acrylic, I always just make sure that I put it over the acrylic a few times, but very, very softly then it just smooths out the surface. So there's that nail, we'll wait for it to dry, then we're gonna buff. Okay, so now if I tap on it, I can hear that it's hard, and we are gonna buff the nail. You would normally have your side walls, Then I just go on the side, my normal filing routine. I take the customer's or the client's cuticles and I pull it down normally and I protect it with my fingers. It's not always so easy to buff the nail nicely with Nadia's finger because she's a bit out of whack, eh? Because you just put this nail in here, it's not very firmly attached. So, yeah, you do find it slipping out sometimes. Okay, let's say that is good enough. Of course, get rid of all the dust. There we go. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, so all the dust is done. Then what I use is I use this silver art gel. It's from Glam Pro. Awesome stuff. Let me open it up for you. Look at this, people. It is so shiny. Well, then 
I start by, you know, taking some of this on a very, very thin brush. I start at the cuticle area. Very close to the cuticle area, I draw a thin line. Both ways. Like that. I also draw it on the side of the nail. I am uh, husband's calling me now. I want it to be nice and thin. Okay, you'll see I've done a little frame. It's not perfect, but it doesn't really matter. Then I take my brush with the silver gel on and I just go and draw patterns on the nail. Like that. You can do it in any shape that you want. Sorry, I've gone quiet, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing, so. I normally go very quiet if I enjoy what I do. There we go. See, there I've done the pattern. Good stuff. Now I'm going to quickly cure it for a minute and I'll be right back. While we're waiting for that nail to, to cure, I also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Aquarel ink from Grand, Glam Pro. This is the blue. And then the same aquarel ink glam pro and this is the pink so what we're going to do is do a, a variation of the blues and the pinks and dark purple and by joining the two colors i normally just use a little silver plate that i put some of the ink down there we go I'm going to add some of the pink onto the plate. Then I take one of my art brushes. I normally take this little one. Then I take some of the blue ink. 
I just lightly add it into the little block. Then I'm going to mix some of the blue and the thin. I just keep my bottles open and I just keep on adding because it actually evaporates so, so quickly. There we go. We'll do another purple one. Do another pink one. Just adding a little bit of blue again. This one blue as well. I just spray a bit of my gel wipe off solution on the Do another blue, and I think I'm gonna do another pink. You can use as many colors or any pattern as you want. It does not have to be exactly like mine. You do what you prefer. Once that is done, you just give it a minute or two to dry. just closing it then I use a very very shiny top coat and I put it on quite thick Stick it into the lamp and voila, I'll put the revealing pictures at the end and as a thumbnail. So thank you guys, girls, see you soon, bye.